Null. Null was a Google project that aimed to include user-written articles on a range of topics, lowercase, the term null, which Google defined as a unit of knowledge, referred to an article in the project. Null was often viewed as a rival to Wikipedia. The project was led by Judy Manber, a Google Vice President of Engineering. It was announced on December 13, 2007, and was opened in beta version on July 23, 2008, with a few hundred articles, mostly in the health and medical field. Null did not find a significant audience and became viewed as a failure. The project was closed on April 30, 2012, and all content was deleted after October 1, 2012. The Internet Archive has snapshots of Null, archived between July 2008 and May 2012. Operation Any contributor could create and own new Null articles, and there could be multiple articles on the same topic, with each written by a different author. Authors could also choose to include ads from Google's AdSense on their pages. This profit sharing was criticized as incentivizing self-promotion or spam. All contributors to the Null project had to sign in with a Google account and were supposed to state their real names. Contributions were licensed by default under the Creative Commons 3.0 license, which allowed anyone to reuse the material as long as the original author was named. But authors were also able to choose the Creative Commons NC 3.0 license, which prohibits commercial reuse or traditional copyright protection instead. Null employed nofollow outgoing links, using an HTML directive to prevent links in its articles from influencing search engine rankings. Reception Competition Null was described both as a rival to encyclopedia sites such as Wikipedia, Citizendium, and Scholarpedia, and as a complement to Wikipedia, offering a different format that addressed many of Wikipedia's shortcomings. BBC News reported that many experts saw the initiative as an attack on the widely used Wikipedia communal encyclopedia. The nonprofit Wikimedia Foundation, which owned the name Wikipedia and the servers hosting the Wikipedia projects, welcomed the Google Law initiative, saying that the more good free content, the better for the world. While Wikipedia articles were written collectively under a neutral point of view policy, Null aimed to highlight personal expertise by emphasizing authorship. After Null's beta launch, Google Project Manager Cedric Dupont responded to the idea that Google intended Null to be a Wikipedia killer by saying, Google is very happy with Wikipedia being so successful. Anyone who tries to kill them would hurt us. The New York Times noted similarities in design between Null and Wikipedia, such as the use of the same font. Dupont responded that the use was simply a coincidence, as it is a commonly used font. Because of Null's format, some said Null would be more like About.com than Wikipedia. According to Wolfgang Hansen, a writer at Daily Tech, Null may have been planned for About.com originally when it was up for acquisition. Hansen reported that several sources close to the sale said Google was planning to acquire About.com, but the executives at About.com learned Google was planning to move from About.com's model to a wiki-style model. That would have meant layoffs for all 500 or so guides at About.com. Conflict of interest. After Google's announcement of the project in December 2007, there was speculation on its motives and its position as a producer of content, rather than as an organizer. The Guardian's Jack Schofield argued that Null represents an attack on the media industry in general. There was debate whether Google search results could remain neutral because of possible conflict of interest. According to Danny Sullivan, the editor of Search Engine Land, Google's goal of making Null pages easy to find on search engines could conflict with its need to remain unbiased. Jeff Chester, executive director of the Center for Digital Democracy, raised similar concerns. At the end of the day, there's a fundamental conflict between the business Google is in and its social goals. What you're seeing here, slowly, is Google embracing an advertising-driven model in which money will have a greater impact on what people have ready access to. As a response to such concerns, it was said that Google already hosted large amounts of content in sites like Google Sites, YouTube, Blogger, and Google Groups, and that there was no significant difference in this case. Failure The media attention that Google Null received at its launch soon dissipated. The site failed to gain a large readership. By mid-2009, Null as a whole was getting only about 175,000 views a month, compared to Wikipedia, which ranged into the billions. As a result, the financial model behind Null was never realized. Google stopped promoting Null, and two years in, few people were aware of Null's existence.
it became apparent that Google had fundamentally misunderstood the reasons for Wikipedia's success. During 2010, the Null site suffered significant downtime, but it appeared that Google did not even realize that Null was down until it was queried about it by a media outlet. In November 2011, the official declaration was made that Null would be coming to an end as part of a spring cleaning out of season that Google was doing of unsuccessful projects and initiatives. But as a TechCrunch writer said when the notice was made, this comes as something of a surprise to me because I figured Google had already shut it down. Mm -hmm.